Hey guys, it's Tiffany. Uh, if you're new here, I'm a multi-platform reseller in apps like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Kitizen, Facebook, all those. I do local stuff, local consignment, and buy, sell, trade. Uh, if you watched Wednesday's video, which was a few seconds for me, only a couple days for you guys, um, I, I shop there quite often too. Uh, I lost my train of thought. What was that? If you like reseller content, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. And if you like hauls, which I haven't done one in a long time because I was in school. I just finished for the summer. Uh, give it a like. Let me know in the comments down below. It lets me know to make more of these. You guys will be getting more content because I'm like a hybrid uh, reseller is what I've been trying to call myself. Uh, put some definition on it. But I am a full-time reseller during the summer and like winter break because I'm a full-time student and a full-time mom so that's when I have <laughs> that's when I have the most time for it is during the summer uh, during the school year I just do it when I feel like doing it so today I have a Goodwill haul for you I've got three bags that I'm excited to show you and when I was shopping today I was really thinking about wedding season that's what I was, you know, that was what was in my mind. And also summer, but wedding season. So I'm excited to show you guys. All right. Let's see. I was really hoping to get a lot of shoes, and I didn't get very many. So I'll show you these just to get them out of the way first. Um, these are eight and a halfs. And I'm surprised they didn't mark these up. Uh, my Goodwill likes to mark boots from $20 to $40 uh, easy. And we live in a really rural community. Uh, the biggest thing that happens in our area is the rodeo. So there's certain brands like, like Ariat that we see quite frequently, but they get marked up a lot. So these were 15 bucks. And I think that they were 15 bucks because I think that whoever marked them thought that they were in not good condition. But they are. They're in fantastic condition. They just need to be cleaned and like leather. They need leather conditioner on them. Uh, and yeah, they're they're in great condition. I didn't check the soles. Let me see. There's some spider webs on the bottom, which freaks me out. I just saw Mogi Beth's reel. I think it was Mogi Beth, where there was a spider crawling on some boots in the bins, and it's just like. Yeah, we're going to put these away for a couple days and touch them when I'm feeling brave. Oh yeah, and they're size eight and a half. I don't remember if I said that. If you guys ever see anything that you're interested in, uh, my links are usually in the description down below. My link tree, it has like everything in there. Um, so if you wanted to like, you know, check out my Instagram, my YouTube, wanted to buy me a coffee, wanted to check out any of my stores, the links are down there. If they're not listed yet, which I don't list things right away, um, just let me know in the comments and I can list it real quick for you. Um, you guys get first, first dibs on stuff and I'll catch a, a good deal too. I probably will do it through Poshmark though because it's, it's the easiest and most It's getting late. <laughs> uh, so, this. This dress. This brand. Uh, I learned from Mogi Bath. She got this in... You're not going to be able to see it, huh? So glossy. It's Eliza J. She got this in some uh, like wholesale palettes. And was trying it out and realized that it really does well. It's only a size small, which is great, not extra small, and it was $7.99. So I'm excited to list this. It's knit, and it is in great condition. It's an evergreen color. There's little, like, eyelet holes. It's really pretty. It's a perfect uh, spring dress if you don't live in Northern California where it's already been, like, 95, 100 degrees. And it's, it's May, so. All right. This next one 
is kind of on the plainer side. Um, but it's a really pretty, like, sky blue tiered maxi dress. The perfect little summer wedding dress. A little tie right here. Uh, size extra large, and it's Elizabeth and James. I usually send this to uh, the Rio Room, which I might do. We'll see. It was uh, $7.99. I have to look up comps because it is pretty plain. It also is my size. So, yeah. Okay, I was going to save this one to show you guys, but I'll just show you now. So, this is new with tags. Look at that. Look at how pretty. I need to sew a couple of these things on and just kind of clean it up. There's a little spot where it looks like it might have gotten a little tug, but it's in fantastic condition. It is size 6, I believe. And it was $350, which you could probably guess. Oh, yeah, it's free people. $350, brand new. But this is the free people tag. I mean, I like to look out for all free people, but this is the one that you really look out for. It's like mesh, and it's embroidered on there. It's kind of hard to see. Come on, phone. You can do it. You're capable. So, yeah. I don't know. But that is really exciting. Oh, it might be a romper. Let me see. Oh no, it's just like a handkerchief dress. It's an uneven bottom. It's really pretty. And how much did I pay for it? $12.99. Which is crazy to me because most of the time, like the dresses for free people at this Goodwill, they mark things up like crazy. But they're usually like 20 bucks. I think they've bought a palette a few times. Oh yeah, okay. This one is a romper. I'm not gonna button it, but there's there's three buttons, and then you have a little pe uh, keyhole in the back. Or but look at how pretty this is. This is lovers and friends, and it's just like little flowers, eyelet lace, cute little romper. Would be so cute at a wedding. And this one is extra small. Lovers and friends. Um, but it was $5.99. So. So I did it. Pulled the trigger. Alright, one bag down. I might have showed you the most exciting bag first. Let's see. All right, so I got this for myself. I don't think it's a crazy brand. No, it's just like a boutique brand. But look at the cute little sleeves. And then it's like, like ruched, ruched, ruched. I don't know the word, but it's like, like stretchy. It is a little see-through, but a uh, little trick that I always do is I always wear bike shorts underneath just because I'm a boy mom and I'm constantly chasing him and jumping up things and, you know, scaling the sides of walls to try to grab him. So, uh, yeah, that's really helpful, especially when the wind blows. This right here is a pretty simple dress. You can see it's just black. It's ruched in the front. Really pretty, elegant. Um, it's HD in Paris. What size is it? It's a size 2, so it is smaller. But it's brand new with tags. And this one was an anthro. So, it was 140 bucks brand new. And I paid how much? $7.99. So yeah, can you guys see the, the theme as I'm hanging up all this stuff? Weddings, weddings, weddings. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of somebody's hair. Have to clean that up. Um, so this is a size 
four, and I paid $5.99 for it. Look at how beautiful and elegant this is. Little side slit, little, isn't it pretty? And it's a Babaton dress, which is sold on Aritzia. So really pretty, really excited to list that. I'm excited to have some new stuff because I've been avoiding listing this stuff and maybe if I have some more interesting things to list, start trickling in the non-interesting stuff, like all the coats. Nobody's gonna buy coats right now. They might, but that's what I keep telling myself. So this is a pair of Patagonia jeans. I might keep these, I'm not sure. I'm gonna try them on, um, but they are a size 32 and they look like they're brand new. I paid $12.99 for them, so really cute. And I got all three of the next items um, on the new rack. If the next items are the ones I'm thinking of. Oh no, four items. Okay. Well, there's a couple of Patagonia pieces. I got them all together. They're a little mixed up, so you'll, you'll see them as they come in, but... Um, here are some Patagonia shorts. They're a men's size large. Uh, they have a little zipper on the back. I might keep these two. I know. $9.99 is what I spent on them. It's hard when you find good stuff. What's probably going to happen is I'm going to try on all this stuff and I'll probably keep one or two items because that's usually what happens. This was $4.99 and it is a Lululemon like neoprene, uh, like moisture wicking, uh, like scuba. Sorry, I'm thinking of all the things to describe it, like a scuba um, sweater. And it's a size six. I paid $4.99 for it. I don't know if I said that. I think I did. So that's great because normally they mark up Lululemon too. You know, it's it's the same with the Bicel Trade as it is with Goodwill. They may have certain brands that they like and they know about and they, they mark them up. So these were $4.99. They're size 8. They are missing a little button right here. But I, that's easy. I'm just going to sew it on. Um, but these are perfect for right now, and they're theory, and they look like they're new without tag. They're just these cute little tweed shorts. So I might sew that button on, and then I might send them to the real real, or I might just sell them myself. I'll probably sell all this stuff myself. I'm pretty excited about it, so just keep it keep it rolling. All right, bag number two is down. So this one is kind of exciting. This is, I don't normally buy lingerie and I don't normally buy vintage because I don't know very much about it and I don't really have the like passion or gusto to, to learn. And I don't mean to say that in like a, a naive way or in like an ignorant way or anything. It's just not where my passion lies. And so, yeah, but I saw this and it's really freaking pretty. It's a little slip dress with button front. And it was $6.99, size small. But I feel like this is the good label, maybe? It's Victoria's Secret. Somebody cut it in half. I don't know. It is very pretty. If I was younger... And this size, again, I would uh, probably wear it a few times, but all right, last bag. So this one is for me, and I think I have my shoes in here. So this is just Lucky Brand. But it's just like this cute little linen or cotton. It feels like linen um, top. Kind of oversized. I thought it'd be really cute if I wore like a 
power Y tank under it or, you know, nice and cool for our hot summers here. Here is another one of those Patagonia pieces, size 32. These are board shorts, um, swimsuit. A men's 32. And um, they are, nine, I, I spent $9.99. Ugh, sorry guys. <laughs> I can never remember what size my brother and my dad are. I always mix it up. I don't know why, like the inseam and the waist, I always mix up. I'm telling you that because I'm like wondering if those are his size. I don't think so. I think those are a little too big for him. Uh, useless information. You guys don't need to <laughs> really know. So these are just some spider long johns, I guess. Long johns or like sleep pants. They're pretty high rise and have like the jogger bottoms. And they're size medium. They might be women's. So it's pretty small. Men's. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I don't know, but I spent two ninety nine on them. All right, a couple pairs of shoes, and then we're done. So my son had my phone when we were at Goodwill, um, but even if these aren't the brand I'm thinking of. They're still really cute and worth the $8.50 I spent on them. But this buckle is completely beaded. Do you see that? With red little beads and this suede, yeah, it's leather and suede uh, is in great condition. But this is by Something Navy and they're size seven and a half. So really cute. Cute for wedding season. Perfect for summer. All right, and these are a seven and a half too. You know what, this, these probably all belong to the same person. But I mean, can you guess what this is? 